Hi guys, how are you? Okay, so this is um, technically night one. I have to start over because last night um, we had nothing but problems over here in Wendy's shop. So um, I rebaked a chocolate cake, and I'll just tell you real quick, guys. Um, it's a little spongy, but um, I went and used a variation of Yenner's Way, his recipe. And um, in his recipe, he makes his from scratch. Um, I didn't post it on, on our page, but I'll, I'll go back and post it. Um, he makes his from scratch, and um, he mixes his chocolate in with melted butter. And I thought, what a really cool idea. Even though I'm using a doctored cake recipe, um, I made it the same way that I would our regular doctored cake recipes. Um, I made chocolate and I added the vegetable oil, the eggs, and milk. I used milk instead of um, water. And um, I heated up the vegetable oil and then I poured that over some semi-sweet chocolate and let that melt. And then I added that to the cake batter. So that was really, really cool. Um, you guys might want to think about trying that if you wanted to, and a box of pudding too. So, um, and I cleaned off my templates so I can start over again. And so here we go. Let me grab the cakes. I put them in the fridge and I popped them in the freezer about 45 minutes ago. So hopefully things will work tonight. I made some fresh ganache too. Let me grab the cakes. Hang on one second. Okay, and I know um I know everyone's super busy, everyone's going to so flow, and some of us have to stay home. But um you know, we'll just stay home and learn and work and do what we do. So I have two cakes that I mm. baked this afternoon. And I went shopping last night too, guys, so. But, um. Doing what we can. I don't think I brought my gloves out with me. Hi, Monique. How are you, darling? Hey, Carl, if you're on, can you run my gloves out? Oh, never mind. I got them. Never mind, honey. <laughs> How are you, Monique? Nice to see you, my dear. Thank you for coming back. Good, I'm glad. So it's funny, like with vanilla cake, I don't mind not having gloves on, you know, even though it's just a tutorial, you know, just a class. But chocolate, chocolate gets everywhere. It drives me crazy. So I have to wear gloves for chocolate. Okay. So I've cleaned the templates off. I'm using the same template that we built last night. It's just got a little chocolate on it now. Um, and let me get my knife. And we'll get started here. We'll see if this cake is going to be a little bit more cooperative. I hope so. So I am going to flip my template over and just get a guide and again I'll have to add a couple pieces and that's okay and the cake's not frozen but it is nice and cold so move this guy out of the way I'm trying not to break it it's funny I use these um I use these cookie boards, you know, or these cutting boards. I got them at Dollar Tree, guys, for like five for um, a dollar. And they work pretty good. I use them quite often. So, just for the larger cakes, just to help move them around and stuff. So, here we go. So this cake does seem a little bit moister. I'll just show you the inside a little bit. See? So it does look better. 
I could have added maybe some buttermilk to it and I could have omitted the oil altogether and just melted butter in place of the oil and I thought about that after the fact uh, what did you say the name of the recipe for the mud cake the one that I used was a version of Yenner's Way Y-E-N-E-R-S Yenner's Way um, I'll post the link on somebody remind me to post the link so I do that when I uh, get done tonight so He's fabulous. He's from Italy. He's got a homemade recipe, Monica. So, um, this is a doctored cake recipe. So you guys can use, you know, whatever versions, you know, of cake recipes that you like. I'm just trying to find one, you know, that worked better than last night's cake. So, that one was so crumbly. I just threw it in the garbage this morning. It wasn't even worth saving. I put too much flour in it, I think, is what happened. You know, but sometimes stuff happens. I'm just going to put some ganache on here on my template. And I'm going to get this guy going. And again, I'm not working on anything other than um, just my my mat right now, but I will be moving it. So, let me get my piece on here. And I have my notifications on. I forgot to turn them off. Okay. And it looks like I'm, uh, now I can pick it up. It's fitting the board better this time too, so there's barely any hanging over on each side. So, put a little more ganache down. Let me just see if the second piece is going to fit while it's in the saran wrap. Looks like it's going to do really good, but it might be a little shy. So, I might use that for the top. So let me get the second piece going. Let me get him out of the way. Let me just get this guy going. And again, I use the Dr. Cake recipe. It's got a box of pudding, and um, I melted some Hershey's semi-sweet chocolate chips into the vegetable oil, just like the recipe called for. Yes, I'm being daring. <laughs> I don't want to break it, but um, it's sticking on me, so. All right, so let me get size cut. I'm just going to real quick grab this piece so I have him done. There we go. I have to excuse my head for a second. I'm just following. I'm not cutting right along with the template yet. I'm just getting a guideline going. So move him out of the way. I'll look up in a second, guys. I'm just trying to get the saran wrap off here. Because the top's a little sticky. There we go. Let me just get this piece wrapped up and out of the way. So I believe this cake recipe is going to be a lot easier for carving. Then um, we're going to talk some more about structure. Hi, Bill. How are you, darling? So technically, this is night one. Because last night we had a lot of problems. I did. So um, with my cake recipe, I ran up to the store after class last night and you know got more supplies. And I baked today. I had other things to do. I'd have been on earlier, but um, so I'm just doing a thin coat. And again, it's it's just for class, so you guys could fill your cakes any way you wanted to, in as much filling as you wanted to. So 
that's entirely up to you guys. So just for class, I'm not putting on a ton of frosting or anything, you know. Hi Jennifer, how are you? Hi Jonathan. Hope everybody's good. All right, so now, I'm just gonna grab my board real quick, guys. My temporary board that I worked on yesterday, just so I can um, have a better surface. And I think it helps you see better too. So hopefully you guys can see okay. Can everyone see okay? I know it takes a minute for the uh, Facebook to respond. So again, I'll turn it so you can see. We want to get the height for our template. So let me just see. Here's the front. So I need to get a little more cake, at least for the center here. So I'm going to get a little more. I got my cutoffs. I might just put on another whole piece. And um, after I get this all together and sculpted and covered with saran wrap, I'm going to talk to you guys real quick about how we're going to do the um, structure of the truck cake. So it's really important that um, you think about that as you're building the cake. So. I'm going to grab another piece here. Let me just see. This piece might be a tiny bit wider. It should be exactly the same, but this one looks bigger. I'm just grabbing another piece of cake here. Saran wrap sticking to it a little bit, which you know what? It's not a bad thing. <laughs> I know the cake's nice and moist if it's sticky, right? There we go. All right. So I'll turn it again. And I can see what's the front, which one's the front, and which one's the back. But these, these pieces here, this last one I put on, is just so I can have the um, the cab part of the cake. So I'm going to go a little bit higher, just right here in the center. I'm going to go ahead and stick just another whole piece on, because I have it. And you guys can make your templates, I mean, if you made them yourself, you could make them any size. My original cake design was for quite a few people. So I needed uh, quite a bit of cake. So I'm not worried too much about the ends here. I'm not ganaching them because uh, I'm going to be carving all that off. So let me get my last piece of cake. Get him on there. But I will show you the difference between this cake and last night's cake. I mean, look at the top. I mean, that is one moist cake. Yummy. So we'll have a little extra chocolate cake tonight. So I'm just looking at it at an angle, making sure that it's lined up pretty well. And it looks awesome. Looks good. So this is the back of the cake here, and this is the front. I should move you back a little bit more so you can see better. Let's see. Just trying to get it so you guys can see. Good. How's that? Does it look good? All right. Now, you can go ahead and use the top piece of the template and do your carving this way, or you can do the sides first, or you don't even have to use the top entirely up to you. I'm going to go ahead and do the sides and I'm going to be a little tall to begin with and that's okay and 
I got some of the right skewers last night too, guys. So, bamboo skewers. I'm going to grab these. These will work better than the toothpicks. So I'm going to just turn this towards me for a second and line up these templates. Because I can see exactly where to line them up. Lining them right up, making sure they're even, checking all the way around. Come back a tiny bit on this one or forward. Because the wheel wells are cut out, all you have to do is line up the edge of each wheel well of the outside of the template or the side of the truck and just pull that right up and line it up. And that's it. I'm just going to get... I guess I'll go back here for this guy get him started for right now. I'm just going to do the same, same, same thing for the other side. I'm just going to go ahead and push the skewer all the way through. I'm trying not to put a, a hole in my finger. There we go. So there. There we go. And that's that. So I'm going to give the cake a nice press. And again, last night, if you guys remember, I was talking to you about some of the things that um, I wanted to change from my original design. <clears throat> and that was, of course, using this particular style of cake decorating is making the side of the cake look more realistic. So right now the way it's carved and the way the templates are all set up, it really is just going to be a, a flat top and whoosh, down the sides. There isn't going to be any depth or movement. So um, just keep in mind that after I ganache it, I'm going to come back and do another coat on the sides to kind of build up the doors, you know, build up the cake. Otherwise it would just be square. So. You know, we want it to look as realistic as possible. So, just wanted to make sure you guys heard that from uh, from last night. So now I'm going to use my cake leveler, and I'm just going to follow. Just make sure these guys are on good. I'm just going to follow. I'm actually going to start with the front. I'm going to turn it this way real quick because there's a lot more cake. I'm just going to grab this to put my cake on too. I'm going to follow the uh, template now. So I have I just set it on. I'm just very carefully following my line. I'm not, you know, I'm not pushing, I'm not doing anything dramatic. I'm really just letting the um cake level or cut the cake for me and you know I did put on all of the cake so um, it's going to cut off quite a bit and I'm keeping my hand here so I can bring the uh, wire right to my hand and then this cake all comes off very carefully take that off I'm going to spin it around and do the same thing. I know my husband's thinking chocolate cake <laughs> with ganache. He hasn't had dinner yet, so he won't get any cake yet. So I'm doing the same thing, just turning it around. And then, you know, I'm being cautious, taking my time, following the template letting the wire do its job, not forcing it, 
Just very gently letting, you can use a knife if you want to. Um, I think most of us have one of these cake levelers and you know what, for this it works awesome guys. I know we don't all use our cake levelers. Here we go. So this is our raw, you know, our first time through. I'm just going to go through now and just follow the back. And again, I'm going to be building up some areas with ganache. And if I have some areas where I need to add cake, I can add cake. Spin it around. I'm just going to check the front real quick. So there we go. So that's how easy it is, at least to get the guideline going for the, uh, the truck. And if you wanted to, while you still have your skewers in, you don't have to do it now, you could do it after. Um, I did it after, before. You can cut out your wheel wells too now if you wanted to, or you could press them in with your thumb, just so you have an idea of where that wheel well is. You can see it with your bottom template anyway, but um, you know, once you start putting your ganache on it, it's kind of hard to find uh, your spots, you know, where your guidelines are. So if you want, you could just press those in. And it will kind of give you a guideline as to where your wheel wells are going to be to put your tires in later on. And um, I don't carve out the bed of the truck because um, there wouldn't be hardly any cake left. So this pickup truck isn't going to have a carved out bed in the back, you know, it's just going to be flat, but um, you know, you guys could vary yours up. So I'm going to take the templates off, and there's our main truck. Now keep in mind, we're going to be doing a lot of work, guys, and a lot of decorating on this cake. So I'm just going to go through now and um, I'm just going to get a general guideline with the template. I'm just following my knife along. It's kind of hard to show you. I'm just going to kind of follow my knife along a couple of the areas here to follow that template, the bottom base. I'm just cutting right along, going right in there getting some of that extra cake out. Because right in there is the door for the cab. So that goes in a little bit there. And then here's where the tire is. And the doors I'm actually going to be building out. I'm going to build those up a little bit. So I'm just taking my knife and following along. Following that template, you can see it real easy. And you literally can just take your hands. And this is why I gave up last night with that um, vanilla cake. I said, there's no way, <laughs> there's no way I'm going to be able to get it to work. You know how sometimes you just know. Okay, so I'm just taking a good look, and I'm, I think I'm going to add a little bit of cake on this side. Right here, I think I'm going to need a little bit of cake, so I'm just going to put a little ganache there. I just need to add a little cake here. And I'll try and turn it towards you better so you can see. Here we go. Right in there. I don't know if maybe I can get away with doing ganache or not. I might be able to just get away with uh, doing the ganache because it does fill up really nicely. 
and I'm just checking the front right in here. I just got to follow right along the bumper here. You just can see that it needs to kind of get trimmed down a little bit. So the way the bottom board is cut, it really does give you a nice little guideline. You just kind of keep looking and, and seeing if there's any other spots where you might need to change anything or add anything. I might put a tiny bit more cake on the back here. So let me just see if I can get this to where you can see what I'm doing. So right in here, I think I need a little bit more cake because um, there isn't much here. So I'm probably just a little shy on the back end here. I don't know how much that's showing up on camera. It's not a lot of cake at all. So. Let's take a small piece. Let's see about this one. Let's see if this is the right width. A little shy. Let's see if this guy will work. I'm just going to take a little bit off and just see if this will kind of fill in right in here. I just want to make sure that I have the back of the cake filled. really good. All right. I'm just going to stand back and look at it a little bit. Seems like it's just a tiny bit off here. Start putting the ganache on it. So, whoops! <laughs> well, it's going on a lot better than it was last night. I do have a spoon here. Let me get the spoon. It'll just go a little bit quicker. cover it all with ganache. I'm going to go ahead and put my turntable under here in a second because um, it's just so much easier. This will kill my back if I don't uh, put my turntable under here. <clears throat> Let me do that real quick. <coughs> I want to get him centered first. I'll put my turntable under. have to move my bowl or I'll knock it off. Put some of the stuff out of the way. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we go. Hopefully you can still see. Yep, you can see. Yeah, even last night my ganache wasn't coming together. So, definitely um, really think about it, guys, when you're 
starting your cakes <clears throat> for your clients, how, you know, like how it worked for me, you know, give yourself plenty of time in case something comes up that slows you down. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and just ganache the whole thing. I wish I could do it so you could see. And I'm just doing a thin coat right now and I'll let it chill overnight. And then tomorrow, probably tomorrow afternoon, because I'm, you know, I'm a day behind now on, on class. So probably tomorrow afternoon or early morning, early afternoon, like before lunch, I'll come out and do another coat <clears throat> and build up the doors and some areas on the hood of the truck. I'm not putting a lot of ganache here in the wheel well because I'm probably going to be carving that out. <clears throat> and any areas that... Um, to build up. All I can tell you is it smells really good in here. It smells like mmm chocolate. It's really good. And strawberries because I made strawberries. <clears throat> Mother's Day is coming so got lots of things um, that we're working on here. Now look at my chat later, guys. It's kind of hard for me to look right now. Um, I don't see any comments. I don't know if anybody's here or not. But and if you're not, that's okay. You can always come back and watch it later. When you have time, it'll be on for you. And again, the wheel wells I'm going to carve out. Um, once the cake's nice and cold, I definitely want it to sit up and set up and chill more before I start uh, doing too much to it. And um, ganache too, you can really get a lot of detail work out of that. Once it firms up, you can add to it and shape it. It's a lot you can do. So we'll be doing all that with this cake. I'm just making sure I get a good coat on all the cake. First of all, to seal it all in. So like for instance, for the hood of this truck, I'm going to want to add up some piped or thicker ganache right down the center of the hood because um, this particular design or make or model of this truck has that and I'm going to probably do some more additional work around the doors you know bring those out some more so it looks more natural Step now, let me just clean the board off real quick. Get some of this out of the way. Now we're going to want to cover it with some saran wrap. Oh, Monique's here. Thank you, darling, for saying something. I'm just going to go ahead and put a long piece right over it. the same thing to the other side. And I want to just lift it here because I want I want the saran wrap to go right in here. Here we go. 
And I'm not super worried about any wrinkles or anything in the saran wrap right now because um, I'm going to give it a second coat after it sets up. But right now we really want to just cover the whole cake with saran wrap and get it chilling. So I'm going right down to the board making sure Sometimes you get wrinkles with uh, using this method, but um, you can use a hot knife after your final coat and smooth it right out. It really is awesome. And when it's chilled, um, when it's nice and cold, the saran wrap just peels right off. So just like a candy bar. So I'm just going to smooth it all out. Now when I do the final coat, guys, I literally can take my hands and just really shape the truck. So right now I'm just going to, I'm following like right in here where my wheel well is. I'm really pushing in right there because um, I'm going to want to know exactly where my spots are after it's set up nice where I need to put my tires and all that. So I'm really just emphasizing those wheel wells because I'll have to carve those out because we got to set tires in there. Other than that, that's how we get started. I'm just going to get right down and look. It looks funny because it doesn't have any tires, you know. It looks like a great big chocolate candy truck. It doesn't even look like a truck, but it's good. Alright. And I can't remember the year. This particular template that my husband made, um, he used off of, um, I gotta get a pin here. I got an air bubble. He actually took the dimensions off the make and model of the uh, cake that the client requested and he he used mathematics and shrunk the schematics of an act of his actual truck and um, made the template for his cake, for my cake. So this is the exact template. And he can do that for any make and model for a car. I actually had someone call me today for, um, she wants a Camaro cake. So that should be interesting. <clears throat> but, um, okay. So now I have to transfer transfer this over to another board so I can put it in the refrigerator. I just have this piece of foam cord that I'm going to put it on. I'm just going to make sure that it's the right length and it looks good. I'm just going to move my cake on table real quick. And instead of trying to get my uh, fingers underneath that cake, I'm just going to use my big spatula get under here and lift it. So there we go. Step one, of course, make sure you have a good cake recipe. <laughs> make sure you have a good cake recipe, guys. And um, I'm going to go in and I'll post Janner's way up in the room. Let me just pop him in the fridge. Be right back. Um, Yennersway.com. He's fabulous, guys. <clears throat> and um, I could also post the recipe that I did, I guess. You know, it's pretty simple. And um, I would like to play with it a little bit more. I would like to replace the oil, the vegetable oil, with actually the same amount of butter with that melted and then poured over some chocolate and the only reason I want to try that is because the vegetable oil I think is um 
I don't think it has enough fat that solidifies. So um, the cake doesn't get as moist. So um, I don't know. That's just what I'm thinking. I know I can take a good cake, box cake and make it a delicious cake. Um, or you guys can use your recipes from scratch. So I have some awesome scratch recipes too. So any questions? I have a camp cake that I need to make. That's why I was asking. A camp cake? I must have missed your question, darling. Camp? What you mean, Monique? Camper, maybe? Here, let me take this off so I can talk to you. I'm going to scroll up. Maybe I missed something from you, Monica, unless you're talking to me. I mean, Monique. You said camp. I know I got chocolate all over me. Cake that looks like a camp. Do you mean like camping? I'm not sure what you mean. A cake that looks like a camp. All I can think of is like a camping area or something. Monique, where are you from? Are you from the United States? <laughs> you don't have to stress on it. She's probably like trying to type as fast as she can. It's okay. No, don't stress. Oh, like a house. Really? Like a house. Okay. Because the first thing I thought of was a camper. Cool, a house. I've done a dollhouse cake, um, but we we used um, a lot of wood. My husband almost built the house out of uh, wood, and then we just left like a whole section to put the cake in, and then I covered it with fondant and icing. It was really cool. Um, so, but anyway, if you need some help or want some advice, you can message me, darling, and I'll try and help you, or you can call me too. <clears throat> oh, you guys, too. My number is 864-978-4901. And for everyone who paid for the class, make sure you message me pri by private message your address so I can get you out a template. <clears throat> so that's it, I guess, for tonight, guys. Unless you have any other questions, I'm going to go. Any questions, guys? Oh, real quick, too. Um, the cake the truck cake, the template, we're going to have sitting at an angle like this. You're welcome, darling. You're, you're welcome. Yeah. 864-978-4901. Thank you, Carl. So the, the pickup truck, we're actually going to make at an angle. And um, it's going to look like it's, um, you know, kind of going up. And like it's off-roading. So, um... I uh, wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about how we're going to do that, but I'll, I'll just talk to you guys as we as we get closer to that step. So I'm going to come back tomorrow. You're welcome. I'm going to come back tomorrow morning and do the second coat of the ganache, and I'll post it live so you don't have to stress. You can come back and watch it. And then tomorrow night I'll be back on between 8 and, eight and 9 o'clock. So, um... Have a, have a great night, you guys. Thanks so much. I'm so glad my ganache and my cake didn't fall apart. <laughs> so, hey, it's a little caker's life, right? All right, so I will talk to you guys soon. Message me or you can email me at Wendy's Cakes, the number four, the letter U, at G.